Hartford, Connecticut, our state capital. It's got the usual big insurance companies, construction, traffic. Let's leave the big city and go southeast, about 36 miles to a small town we call Salem. 94% of the homes in Salem are owner-occupied. You're not going to find apartments to rent here. Instead, you'll find residential properties, plenty of farmland. This is where our story begins. During the good weather days, there's a group of people who get together and create their own excitement. They take their pastime seriously. Most of these people don't live in Salem. They come from all over the state or neighboring states, and they immerse themselves in this hobby they called RC. Well, the, the biggest change in the industry is, is everything's coming ready to go. Well, I've had a lot of fun. I've, uh, I, I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's a good club. I started in 87. I came out to the field. Didn't even know it was here. I lived about three and a half, three and a half miles from here, actually, and came out here. One of the, the president of the club at the time, let me try a, an, air, an airplane out, and it was great. And I saw, met up with some of the other members, and they were they had helicopters and they caught my attention immediately and have been playing with them ever since. Hi, I'm Marcus Diglione. I'm the owner of Branford Hobbies in Branford, Connecticut. We've been here 64 years. My father started the business in 1954, and we've been family-owned ever since. Most of our new customers are younger people that are getting into toys that, you know, really emulate what they're doing in their gaming and in their phones and their laptops. So radio control, planes, drones, helicopters, cars are very, very popular. And most people can tell if you have a problem and they're willing to pitch in and help. And uh, we also have a, a problem here with corn that gets 10 feet high. The flying field is one of the more unique aspects of the club. There was a movie years ago called Field of Dreams. Every year around July I'm reminded of that movie. See for yourselves. We have a lot of fun with that though because the corn grows up fast in June and by mid-July it's a uh, it becomes a jungle and we talk about corn thermals and we talk about the children of the corn reaching out and taking people's airplanes away from them and uh, there's, a, there's a good deal of time spent meandering around the corn fields trying to find lost airplanes but uh, it is a challenge and uh, I always tell people I said don't don't fly out any further over that corn than you're willing to go walking searching for it because if you could glide back to the field you'll save yourself a lot of time if your engine quits. I've traveled four to five hundred miles to go to flying events, had something happen, and I've always gone home with a smile because everybody's willing to help out. It's, it's just a, it's a big family. It's really what it comes down to. 